Welcome to Tech Drill. Today we are looking at how to use GitHub Copilot for data analysis. Data analysis is one of the important tasks for data scientists, ML developers, and those who deals with the data altogether. Let us quickly move to the VS Code. I have an extension installed here. It is called data analysis for copilot this comes from microsoft and is available as part of vs code marketplace this extension helps the data science people to do a quicker data analysis and generate code out of that so let us have a quick view on how this particular extension help us to do a data analysis I have already installed this extension. There is no additional license or key requirement. Just install the extension and open your CSV file with data. Here I have a CSV with data fields, name, age, city, occupation and salary. I'm going to use data extension to get an insight out of this particular CSP data. For invoking the extension use at the rate data. Let us start with a simple query that is what is the relationship or correlation between age and salary. Data extension brought the correlation between age and salary. Let me ask Coppola to visualize or float this relationship again using the data and asking for visualization as you can observe that it's taken all the data points from my CSV and nicely float the relationship between age and salary based on the age how the salary is uh, moving let us go a little deeper into a different trend analysis or comparative analysis angle. I am passing another question to data extension. Float the histogram with a salary distribution. And here I am trying to understand the income range for the individuals. It float the histogram with the frequency and the salary distribution. In case you feel that this particular chart looks great, I want to integrate this as part of my code base. You can ask at the right data to export the result of the previous one. Let me just ask export and it gives two options. Either I can export it as a Python script or Jupyter notebook. Let me take it as a Python script. The end script is ready here. Let me just save it as um, float data.py. The Python script is generated with proper documentation, which helps me to understand the script in detail. Before going to execute this one, I'm going to ask a little more complex question to data extension. I want to box float the salary distribution across different occupations to understand how the salary variations and outliers compared to the occupation angle. So here again, the data extension went ahead and float the distribution in a box float model. You can observe that the engineers have a salary variation in a box format, the re remaining things are scattered across the chart. Let us export this into a Jupyter Notebook. Here I have the Jupyter Notebook ready. So let us save this Jupyter Notebook as demo1 and try to execute the Python environment the latest Python and it's connecting to the kernel and executing the different steps in my Jupyter notebook. 
either you can execute one after the other or run all let me go ahead and run the complete code and the corresponding graphs are displayed down so it's exported the entire communication started with the relationship between age and salary then the histogram and went ahead for my box float of the salary distribution so this is a quick analysis of data not really analyzing the data you will be able to float the data components once you are fine with the floating or the analysis then you will be able to export the data into python file or a jupyter notebook then integrate with your application let us try one more example i need the data where i'm looking at the heat map showing the correlation between age and salary this will visualize the relationship between age by a salary let us see how the heat map look like it float the correlation between the age and salary in a heat map model so not only floating or exporting the things if you have some questions on their analysis a deeper question on something like the age group having the highest concentration of high earners or how the average salary varies by city or float the relationship between two things uh, you will be able to use the data extension here it's uh, given the highest concentration of higher earners range and the supporting slash command as export for exporting to python or jupyter notebook if you want to clean up that user's data csp file or do some analysis before even start coding you can use this data extension to complete your activities once you finalize the correlation or trend analysis or comparative analysis then you can directly export the code into python or the jupyter notebook which can be integrated to any of your applications try out and share your comments thank you